he's an organism and you look in the soil scratch back the soil and the mulch on top and look in there and there's all these little tendrils and avenues of life in there all these little mycelial networks and directions that it's going and it's wild and things loop back and curl in on themselves and it's just it's happening and that's Addy. Addy's exactly like that. Don't you reckon? You hang out with Addy and he's fucking exactly the same. I think we're all put on this planet to serve, you know, in some way, shape or form. Once you get that in check, your path becomes pretty mapped out for you, I think. Uh, my name's Addie Jones, and I live in the Ferno Group Islands in Bass Strait, 40 degrees south. I like the wild and wooliness of it all. It's pretty remote. I suppose it's not for the um, faint-hearted living out here. That's why you grow your own mask, eh? Hey? Yeah. I first heard about Addie from a couple of mutual friends. They'd just been visiting Addie and were blown away by his ability to make the best compost they'd ever seen and also that he was growing these subtropical native fruit trees, finger limes, on 40 degrees south latitude where you should have no right to be even attempting to do such a thing. You got the key to me uh, shackles? Um, no, I lost that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful day. There's a few bonuses looking like Cousin Nick. So what were we here for again? There's heaps of food for all of us. Let's get into it. I met Heath through, um, I suppose, being, you know, both passionate about the earth and country and um, problem solving and, and wanting to make a difference on the ground. So why are you choosing to go salt bush, man? Well, it's a bit of a good one, eh, because it is a fire retardant. Also, it, we use it for animal health products and we also eat it. Easiest way I've found to, uh, you know, harvest it and use it for your cooking is just basically get it dehydrated, whack it in a little solar oven, and then uh, put it in some old uh, salt and pepper grinders, you know. We also do a mix with some seaweed as well. Really good condiment on anything, eh? Eggs, fish, meat. I know this stuff in my garden is yep. the most reliable, productive, best fodder I can have for all our animals. Yeah, that's All it. the poultry love it. Yeah. But the turkeys will sit underneath one in the garden and jump up pecking at it to get some. <laughs> the nice. duck's hammer, anything that falls down. And I, and I yeah. bring in, you know, wheelbarrows full to the chickens and it gets hammered quickly. After doing a few trips over to Heath's place and um, Heath coming over here to my place and sharing knowledge with each other. We've kind of uh, striked up a bit of a meaningful, lasting relationship around earth repair and growing food, you know, and surfing and making surf craft, you know. Uh, I made this one out of our landfill on the island. Um, it's got a whole bunch of bamboo blinds and uh, recycled BJ wall panelling and some old cork floor tiles from the kitchen and a chunk of styrofoam as the blank and then just pot wired it out and put a stringer in it and shaped her up. Yeah. So this is all made out of the dump farm. Functional art, recycle materials. This one here was a old blank, just a PU blank. It's got these pipes running through the rail. That fin there, you know, it took me more time to make that fin than the whole thing, I think. Um, that's all out of old fishing rods. Yeah, but just experimentation. You never know until you give it a go. Next time on Farm Boys, we head to the rainbow region of New South Wales and catch up with Rasta, who is employing some interesting techniques in the patch. <laughs>